Hey, welcome, welcome. Uh, current students, incoming students, um, friends, family, alumni students, anybody who gives me enough attention and, you know, watch my video, I appreciate it. But anyways, uh, I'm here to talk, talk about Frostburg, give you the ins and outs, the rundown of what goes down up at the Berg in the mountains, baby. Yeah, so first things first, uh, was, I was going to go over like residence life, really. Um, honestly, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, living in a dorm is kind of like a mini apartment type deal. Um, I live in Allen Hall, so we don't really have any heating, no AC or anything. But uh, me and my roommates, we haha. <laughs> We decked this place out. As you can see behind me a little bit, we got a fan back there. We got we got six fans and in the span of a week when it was hot when we first came up here. We had six fans all in the corner and stuff like that. So, I mean, um, we're good. We're set. Um, only downside I, I really want to say about living in the dorms is uh, don't get much privacy uh, when going to the bathroom. And I really hate it in the morning when I'm brushing my teeth at like 8 a.m. I'm sitting there brushing my teeth, trying to wash my face, get, get ready. And some dude just pulls up in the stall across from me and starts like dropping a load like I'm like come on dude like I'm who who does that at at 8 a.m. like come on man just stinks up the whole bathroom it, it ruins my day but um that and uh laundry can can be an issue sometimes we we live in a a co-ed dorm three levels to it so guys first floor girls a second floor and guys third floor it's a triple on the third floor and we all share three washers and three dryers so washing your clothes can be a bit of a problem but besides all that it's not too bad i kind of enjoy it i forget that i live here sometimes honestly um social life i've surprisingly made a lot of friends in a very short period of time uh and i i enjoy it I love it. I, I love a lot of the people here at Frostburg, and I'm very glad that I got the opportunity to meet some of them because, I mean, it is awesome. Um, <laughs> I'm in, I'm on the cross country and track and field team here, representing the big Bobcats, FSU. <sighs> not, not, uh, not Florida. They're, they're a lot cooler than us, but we won't talk about that. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm in two Bible study groups on campus gig generation investigating god and uh chi alpha uh very cool groups uh if you're interested come see me i'll be the plug I already now um and just i'm majoring in mechanical engineering so for some of the homework can be challenging so i've made friends along the way to and we all help each other out when it comes to like projects and um homework and stuff like that we have a little group chat and we all go, uh, text each other if we're having any issues. So I've made friends through that. So um, I'm kind of just, you know, living it up up here. Uh, maturity, I feel as though, I feel as though I've matured a lot up here at the Berg. It's the first time being away from home, stuff like that. It's not the same like it is at high school, you know. People, people, you know, first milestone is getting that car, getting that license, driving away. And, um you get that level of like responsibility or getting that job you're like man i'm making my own money i'm driving to places but now you're just away from home can't see mom or dad and you're doing all everything like on your own it, it hits it hits a little different so um i've definitely had to grow up a bit take care of myself uh and be able to provide for myself i guess take care of myself a bit more but yeah i've i've um matured a bit i feel like i've, I've learned a lot i've learned i've learned so much here i actually love it the uh, workload here at college is uh, it's rough. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm gonna be honest. It's pretty rough. Pretty rough up here at the Berg. Um, multiple nights I've been up at like 3 a.m. doing on doing homework and stuff like that. Some of that is uh poor planning, poor time management, and other times I'm just busy throughout the entire day with uh practice, trying to find a time to feed myself. Like I never, I never believed that finding a time to feed yourself would be an issue in your day but apparently it is with like meetings and certain uh group projects and then like i said sports and then clubs and study hall like time is gone 
time is gone. You're, hoo, 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 man. Uh, education is number one thing here, kids. How did I, I manage my time by just doing it. Uh, I've always struggled with time management, so I just kind of just bust, bust the workout. Like, if something was due the next day, if I had, like, stuff piled up and I had, like, three, four things due the next day, I just stay up and do it that night of and sacrifice my sleep. I've always been that type of person, probably not the healthiest, uh, way to uh deal with your <laughs> deal with your workload but uh i've gotten this far <laughs> i'm in college hi mom <laughs> you know um it's also pretty stressful with all this work all this workload uh especially being in sports and clubs and stuff like that how do i manage my stress down here um i feel as though i feel as though some of my friends Hanging out with some friends kind of really de-stresses me or like finding a time if it's like 30 minutes to an hour to just like play a couple of video games really just like de-stresses me and gets me uh, calm and in like a happier place. Also, the uh, some of the Bible study groups I go to on campus, they really just like they spit some facts in me, man. Like I've learned so much. Like I'm a new man. New Dan, who this? New Dan, who this? I'm telling you guys. Come out. Come out. I'm the plug. I'm the plug. I'll hook you guys up. Um... Some of the things I would have wanted to know at, like, preview day before coming back here, or before uh, coming up here to the Berg for good, is um everybody talks about this 24-hour CCIT room that you can go in and, and work on homework, and it's open 24 hours a day, because the library closes at, like, 12 a.m., and sometimes, if you're like me, I live in a triple so like I have roommates and they can get upset if I'm up late doing homework stuff like that because I make too much noise and I wake them up or too many lights are on and I'm just like bro I gotta get this work done so uh the 24-hour CCIT building is very useful but nobody told me how to get into it like it, you have to there's there's one door and it's like a secret door you gotta like find your way in there and you got to get your key card to like swipe and stuff like that it's it's like a secret secret passageway but nobody told us how to get in there as a freshman i had to ask some upperclassmen to help me out and still struggled with that along with that i wish somebody told me that you know the cat food is kind of trash like dang I'm, I'm sorry man like i eat at, at lane center the chick-fil-a sometimes uh the mo's uh i don't eat grow nation too much but um I stay grabbing lane lane food over over dining hall because dining hall can be uh, I say like a 60 40 percent chance 60 percent uh, it's gonna be uh, something not too good and a 40 percent chance you're gonna get something decent so I don't eat there too often that's just me and my personal opinion uh, I um some advice I want to give you guys is I I recommend women rooming in a three man dorm because I you definitely get a lot more room than rooming in a single or a double because uh three people have to be in here so your your dorm room is like a lot larger so you get a lot more uh space and i just think it's worth it especially if you know the people that you're rooming with like i do so it's it's pretty nice pretty sweet um invest in a portable charger like i said before i'm always busy out the dorm doing this doing that doing that so your phone tends to die like quick you leave your leave your dorm for 8 a.m. and then you got classes all day lunch and meetings stuff like that and sports and next thing you know you're gonna be like your phone's gonna be dead and you, you still have like two things to go to so like portable chargers will help and also you definitely need to, to invest in like winter jacket winter boots because you know in the mountains it'd be getting cold be getting cold cold we actually have some ice outside right now while i'm speaking um so that's really my three my three tips to incoming freshmen, and my goal, uh, what I want to take away from coming here to Frostburg is I would like to graduate with my uh, degree in mechanical engineering, and I'd hope that I can do that with, while participating with four years on the track team. Uh, I really enjoy that. And I hope to, after I graduate, find a nice paying job, you know, buy a car, get a house, uh, find a wife, and uh, have three children. That's, that's my ultimate goal. 
So these have been my sweet words, sweet loving wisdom from Dan, and I hope you take it well. So that's me. Love you guys. I'll uh, I'll catch you later. If you hope I've I've interested some of you guys into coming in up to the Berg, maybe maybe not. Who knows? But if you do come up here, uh, you'll see me. I'm pretty cool. We can be friends. All right. Take care.